Welcome everyone. Today we are going to do a slide and zoom transition within a presentation. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to create one. So just for timing, I'm going to use some pre-made stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to do is set up all your slides. So whatever your presentation is going to look like, you're going to have one master slide, which is going to be your first one, and then all your other slides that you want to use to zoom in on. So if you have five slides, 10 slides, whatever you want to do, that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to set up your first slide as your base. So what I did when I created mine is I used this cream and pink simple beauty video uh, presentation and I applied all those, took out the ones I wanted to, and then made them my style. So I'm going to grab this first one as my first page and I'm going to get rid of this stuff here, this stuff here, this stuff here. I want to keep this. I'm going to ungroup that because I want to take that and put it on my paper. So here's my first page. I went in here and I made it this gradient just to make it kind of cool. And the next thing I did is start on making the rest of my pages. So what I just did is I put all of those in here, took out the ones that I weren't, I wasn't going to use and then applied my color and everything else. So Whatever you're doing for your presentation, you're going to go with two, three, four, five, six, seven, how many slides you need, and you're going to go ahead and make your slides out. Now on this, I'm just going to put one in real quick. Like this one right here has a video in it. So if you're doing a video, you want to put your duration on because if you're going to do static images for your first page. Now I didn't do any, I didn't test this out with using videos in the transition. So just be forewarned, if you try it, you're trying it on your own. I did not do that. But say there's a specific piece in here, so I'm gonna change the duration. Say I like that better. So that's when I wanna, when I go and download this, that'll be the, the spot it is. So you can go through your video if there's a better angle or whatever in your video that you want. Just move the duration to your video if you're using a video or if you're using a picture. So I just ungrouped all these and then I deleted like the stuff that was out of it because I used a pre-made thing. And then what I did after that is I went through all the ones that I made and I downloaded each individual one. So if I had a whole bunch here, I downloaded each individual one. So if I go into my uploads, you can see I downloaded each individual page. Now, if you use a square or if, if you're just doing photos, you can do that too. So say I did a photo, I'm just going to zoom in and a photo is going to come out. You can just do a photo and you don't have to download that stuff. If your photos are already uploaded, or if you want to just use a square on the back side, like so, oh, come on, move for me, baby. And we'll put that into position. So there's a few different ways you can work around this. You could just uh, group these two together and then you don't have to, you can just go ahead and move it over to this page here and then put it in your little form or whatever you're going to do over here. That's another workaround, but if you're going to make like slide slides, I would download them. Um, that's my personal preference. It will be up to you how to do that. So what I did for the paper, I went into elements and I grabbed this piece of paper right here, which is a watercolor paper white background. So I'm going to grab that real quick to make my paper. And I actually used a square for the coloring, but the reason why I use the paper is for one reason I can go into edit photo. I can go in and I can put a shadow on it. And I want to take that intensity out a little bit, blur it up a little bit more. And there we go. It's good. So I just wanted that shadow, but I want color on it. So what I did to put color on is I grabbed a square, layered it on the top like so. 
try to get the square as best as possible on there. Sometimes it's not fun. Some of this stuff is not fun. I'm going to go to the top here and then I'm gonna bring it over on the side here. And then I'm going to bring it down and then I'm going to add the colors that I want, which is this, but I want to do it with one more gray. So I'm going to go over here go to the gray and then I'm going to do top and bottom like so. And then I have my piece of paper that I want. And then I have my shadow. Because one day, maybe, on shapes, we can get shadows. So now I have my paper the way I want it. I have uploaded back into Canva all my slides. So what I want to do now that I've uploaded all my slides is I want to go and place them on the paper. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to size them to fit on my paper. Oh, didn't I put that on there? You can put a heading. You can do whatever to make your paper, whatever way you want to. Let's, uh, yeah. So say you want to do something like this. And then you want to put these there. And you're going to grab them. And you're going to size them the way you want to. And place them on the paper however you want to place them. I would place them, make them small enough that you have a little bit of border around each si on each side of them. Because when you zoom in on it, you don't want to see the other picture and you'll see why in a moment. So I am just going to go and grab some more and we're going to place those on here. Try to size them up. Now I haven't tried to stick these into frames, but that might be also be an option to make this a little bit simpler. Um, I'm trying to make sure I grab all the ones that I'm trying to grab. And then I'm going to put that there. I'm going to sink that in. That one's a little bit, a little smidgy bigger than the other one. And then I'm going to grab concealer. I'm trying to make sure I ain't grabbing. And what are we missing? We've got some lipstick, some blush. I'm not going in order either. I should be kind of going in order of how you put makeup on, but you know. It's been a while. I'm past the age of putting makeup on all the time. And then what you can do once you get them lined up, what I did is I put a little bit of a border on them. I put them at threes. That was just a personal preference. I'm not going to do them all, but that was just a personal pre preference that I did. So oh, what I can do now, I can go in a position and I can grab, let's grab this one, uh, control this one, control this one. I'm going to go in a range and I'm going to get them tidied up. And then what I'm going to do is go back in, oops, go back into layers, take out, go out of that one and grab the other three. Nope, did that one, that one. And give me some purple, y'all. And then go back in the range, tidy those up. And now that they look tidy, what I can do? Oh, I can't stand just looking at one with some with no borders. Let's fix those. Hanner. All right, one more, one more, one more, one more, y'all, one more, y'all. Yeah, if y'all watched the last tutorial, do you hear the chihuahua snoring tonight? She's she's actually kind of quiet. She's right on my hip, too. All right, so now I've got... Let's put that over a little bit. Now I've got my, my little paper brochure, whatever you want to call this thing, all set up. So what I want to do is go into my layers, and I am going to grab everything that's on my paper. So that is on my paper... That is on my paper. That is on my paper. I'm holding the control key down so I can highlight all this. So I'm going to grab everything that is my paper. And I am going to group it together. Alright, we're going to delete all these out of the way for, for my goofy explanation on that one. So we're going to delete all these. Au revoir, mon ami. 
So I've got this set up. Oh, where's my little beauty brushes? Let's put the beauty brushes in here. Um, let's see for you if y'all want to do any beauty. Um, what was those brushes? Just in case y'all want them. I took the, removed the background from those. Or the makeup brush set. That's what those are. And I removed the background from those and just throw those in there. And of course, you know me. I got a little shadow. I still, I'm trying to use the new shadow, guys. I'm not very happy with it. But see, this is what I don't like. See, when you start moving, it moves the whole object. The old, sh the old one didn't do that. I mean, the whole thing moves. I don't like that. I just don't like that at all. It's like, you. why is the whole object got to move? The shadow should be moving, not the object. Oh, Canva, Canva, Canva. Okay. Now my little rant's over. Now we got our first set up. We got everything set up here. Now we're going to make our second slide. So I'm going to go and I'm going to duplicate this slide. I am going to take... Wait a minute, I want to put this a little bit on like we want to be a little fancy fancy here. Hold on, we'll put it sideways. All right, now we'll go back to the page number two. And we want to make this super, 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 super small. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to go and start making big, 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 big. Big, 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 big. And wherever your first one is, we're going to keep making it big. Ah, oh, I forgot this something, but while we're making it big, I am going to keep on working on making it big first. All right, hold on, I could go down just a smidge, just a smidge. All right, kind of want that in the middle, like so. Position. Make sure your paper is on top. So let's go back in this one and make sure our paper is on top. All right, so we're back to our paper. So now that we got that in place, you shouldn't have to do that anymore. So I know I've got that in place like so. So I've got my first one in place. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my transitions. Not here because I'm being a goofball at the moment. I'm going to go into my transitions. Maybe transition. I'm going to put match and move. You're going to put your duration at as far as up as you want to and what I did for mine is I did like the first slide at two but it depends on your presentation so the timing is going to be way up to you um, I did these slides sl uh, faster and then of course my this the, the um, slide that had the information on it and of course I made them longer than the other ones so it's just Whatever your presentation is going to be, you're going to adjust the timing on it as needed. So we're going to check our little transition and see how it works. And it comes right on up. So we've got page one done. So what you want to do is you want to grab your first one, duplicate that page. What you're going to do now is we're going to move it behind that one. If you want to do anything fancy like I did in my original one, if you want to move this around change this in another angle have this coming over here have your have this going this away any of that kind of fun stuff you can go ahead and do that there and then i'm going to take the one that i had my slide on i'm going to duplicate that page i'm going to bring it around to the back and then i'm going to move it over to my next photo so you don't have to keep going all the way down and moving it you can just move it that way and it's very easy so my matching move did not travel there hold on so if it doesn't travel just go ahead and go apply between all pages and you can kind of hook yourself up and of course with your timing the same thing if you like that time in there apply between all pages and it'll go there so now we're going to look at our second one and we're going to go it's going to go and it's going to move there and then it's going to come back up to your eyeshadow and then all you're going to do is same thing. You're going to grab the one before, or if you want to go back to the original one, just grab one of the ones where it's, this is your page. So you just grab it, duplicate it, move it behind. And then if you want to rearrange, 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 put it on this side, put your brushes over here. 
If you want to keep it the same in between, keep it the same. It's all up to you. Same as before, we're going to grab our one that has our photos on it. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to bring that around to the back side. And I'm going to move it to the next one. Uh, you want to move it to the lipstick. You can move it to the eyeliner. It doesn't matter. Whatever one you want to move to next. And that's all you're going to do. And you're going to keep doing that until you're done. I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to go over, take it to the back side, move it around if that's what you want to do. And now I'm just going to do some crazy, crazy stuff just to show some movement. And, and then you're going to take your photo ones. You're going to duplicate that, move it over, and then you're going to move it to the next one. And you're going to do that all the way through all your, your slide deck. And it's just that easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I'm going to go shoot through, make sure all is between all pages. I'm going to go and make my timing between all pages. And then I'm going to, you would go and bump these up because these are your information ones. So I want my timing up on those. Um, why did that one get bigger? We don't want those bigger. We want these smaller. Camera's being a little weird on me. All right, so two enter between all between all, and say so you want these at three, or you guys you're saying something in between these. You can just go and make those bigger, and then you can go. Why is Canva doing that? Look at that! Look, 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 looky, looky. Well, that's being me. Okay. All right, so that they mean. Jerk, jerk. So I'm going to go into present now and we're going to look at what we have. Oh, I want to go back to the beginning. Hold on. So here's your first slide. We're going to go, whoa, baby. Yay. And then I'm going to click it. It's going to go down. Whoa, baby. And then we're going to click it and go back down. Whoa, baby. Click it and go back down. And oh, whoa, baby. And you just do that for all your slides. And that's how you do that trick. And easy peasy lemon squeezy. Maybe. It was fun to do anyway. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I know I kind of got a little off tangent at some point. Sorry. But guess what? I love you guys. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye y'all.